nerds, hi yogis, curly nerds here, and welcome to a nerdy yogi YouTube channel. Uh, with Comic Con season right around the corner, I wanted to do something a little bit different today. We're going to do a bit more of a slow, breathing focused Qigong flow. Uh, obviously, with Comic Con, there's a lot of excitement and sometimes a lot of stress, so this should be a great way to help recenter calm as well as uh, get you energized. It's a very focused energy so that you can bring um, kind of the right energy that you want to everything that you're doing for the con or just for your normal daily everyday lives. So hopefully you enjoy it. To start we're going to be in a mountain pose. So find a comfortable kind of standing position here. Just let your feet kind of fall where they may. Uh, knees and toes are in line. Ground into the earth here, bend your knees for a moment and really lift up from the earth, standing tall through the crown of your head. We'll start with our classic Mula Bandha breath, so inhaling from your low belly in a 360 direction. And exhale, squeeze everything in and up as you exhale through your nose. You want that big victorious Ujjayi sound, kind of that ocean breath. Kind of sounds like Darth Vader sometimes, <laughs> depending on how intensely you exhale, I guess. So inhale and exhale. This is activating all of our deep core muscles and really helping activate our inner strength using our breath. We'll add a little bit of movement to that now. So inhaling, bending your knees. Arms extend above you, and then you're going to exhale. Bend your knees really deeply as you fold over your legs, coming into a forward fold. And from here, you can just wave back and forth a little bit. Keeping your knees really bent. They are not warm yet, of course, so you don't want to put them too straight too soon. And then bending, grounding back to the earth with your feet, bending your knees as you inhale. To prepare and exhale, roll yourself in and up, exhaling and inhaling up. This time come into a cactus arm position, so 90 degrees with the arms. We're going to do a spinal breathing technique. This is one of the Qigong breaths I was telling you about. So you're going to inhale, full mini arch in your spine and exhale, bring your arms together and round in front of you. Inhale, exhale. You can still do the Mula Bandha breath while you're doing this motion too. From here, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bending your knees, folding forward again. Waving back and forth. Slowly opening up your legs. Let any stress or tension you have just fall to the floor here. Bending your Knees really deeply as you inhale, prepare. Exhale, rolls you in and up. Coming into your cactus arms again. Make fists, inhales you arch. Exhales, you round out your upper spine. Inhale here. Exhale, it's a great breathing technique and it's helping get rid of any tension that we tend to carry around in our neck and shoulders. Inhale up again, exhale forward fold last time, noticing how your legs are feeling, if they're warming up a little bit, maybe you can straighten them just a bit more, always only on that first edge of stretch, waving back and forth, maybe you can walk a little bit to each side, taking a look a little deeper. And inhaling again, prepare. Exhale, rolls you in and up to stand. Hands come up, 90 degree angle. Make this, inhale. Bending arch in your back, exhale round. Inhale here. Exhale, and last one, inhale. Now inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands come to heart center, um, namaste mudra. Now I'm going to turn to face the side so there's, there's room for you to see what I'm doing and I'll be on my mat. So from here we're going to take another slow, a little bit deeper uh, kind of movement, but still a slow more focus on the breath. So from here 
You're going to inhale, you're going to step your foot back, not quite all the way back for a high lunge. You want to have your weight centered a little bit more over your left leg because we will be balancing with this. So you're going to inhale here, really ground into the earth with your left foot. Think about lifting all of the energy from the earth all the way up through your legs, through your core. And as you do that, you're going to exhale, lift, bringing your right knee to a 90 degree angle here, fists of fire to low belly. Inhale, slowly step it back, just enough that you have a little bit of a lunge position, not so much that you find it hard to balance or lift the back leg. Inhale here, exhale, really ground into the earth, balancing, lifting the leg. Inhale, step back. Exhale, really lifting in and up. This time, step it all the way back to a high lunge. It's a little bit deeper lunge here. Inhale, stretch both legs up. As you exhale, you're going to bend both knees and press out through your palms for fierce mudra. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale, think about pressing away anything that doesn't serve you today. Inhale and exhale last time. Very nice. Inhale lifts you up. You can lean a little bit forward and step your right foot towards your left again. Come into that mountain pose and shake out any excess energy that you need. We'll do that sequence on the other side. So really grounding into your right foot now as you step your left foot back just enough to have a bit of a lunge where you have most of your weight centered over your right foot for the balancing lifts. Inhale here, prepare. Again, think about grounding into the earth with your foot and really lifting all of that energy up. And that travels all the way along your deep core. So you can exhale, fists of fire for your balancing pose there. Inhale, step back. Inhale, lifting in and up, brings that knee up. Inhale, step back one more time. Exhale, very nice. Now from here, stepping it all the way back, coming into your high lunge. Take a moment to settle into that pose. And as you inhale, you're going to lift everything up. And exhale, squeeze your air in and up as you press away with your palms. Inhale, lift up, exhale, inhale last time, exhale, very nice, inhale lifts you up, bring yourself, step yourself forward, hands come to heart center again, so now I'll face this way again so you can see what we're doing. So we're back in mountain, feet comfortably grounding into the earth, inhale, lift up, and exhale. Inhale, bend your knees forward, fold again. This time notice that your legs might be a bit straighter after that work that they did. You can spend a moment kind of bending one knee and straightening the other, getting a bit deeper into that stretch. And then bend your right knee a lot, have your left leg straighter for you, plant your right hand or fingertips under your right shoulder, and exhale, twist left arm to the sky. You can even rotate your palm behind you and wrap it around your back. Get a deeper forward fold into that side of our hips and leg. Good IT band stretch. And if you have your arm in the half bind, this is a great shoulder stretch. Exhale, coming back to that forward fold. Wave your spine long. And from here, bending your left knee deeply, right leg extends straighter for you. Fingertips or palm plant firmly to the earth on the left uh, side, and right arm extends towards the ceiling. Remember to maintain length in your spine here as you do this stretch. And again, you can rotate your palm behind you and then wrap around your back if you want to get into your shoulders more. From here, coming back to center, 
slight bend in your knees as you wave your spine long. As you fold, just release everything and you can find that first edge of stretch. Slight wave in your spine to release, again, any stress or tension you might be holding on to. And then from here, bending your knees deeply again to prepare. And exhale, lifts you in and up. Bring back into that mountain pose. And we'll take another Qigong breath here. Well, we're going to do a couple of them. So the first one we're going to do is knocking on the door of life. So firmly uh, plant into the earth with your feet. You don't want your knees locked or anything. A little buoyancy in your knees. And you're going to start just by twisting and letting your arms kind of swing around and knock on the back, on your low back, right over your kidneys. Now the front, of course, right over your low belly. Is a great way to build energy in your body. And of course, it's great for the spine because we're twisting. So it's a good spinal movement. It's a great way to wake up in the mornings, too. Just take a couple minutes, knock on the door of life, get ready for the day, you know. And you can keep doing that as long as you would like. And then once you're done, you should just slowly let your arms come back to kind of their center, natural position. Come tall into your mountain pose. Just feel the energy that you've created. And from here, our final Qigong breath is going to be a centering breath, really to help you focus and kind of center your mind on whatever it is that you want to be focused and centered on. So you'll start placing your left hand just below your belly. This is where our center of our energy comes from. And you'll inhale, circle your right arm around. And as you exhale, you'll have a uh, flat palm and then rest it facing up underneath your belly and then inhale left arm circles around exhale as you center your breath inhale and again you can do the mula bundha breath as we are doing this mo movement your hand is coming down as you exhale you're exhaling the breath up so there's also a little bit of um, yin and yang happening at the same time it's balancing each other. Do that one last time on each side. Then to finish, just rest your hands over your low belly. Again, that's the center of our energy. And just take a couple of breaths here, letting your breath come back to its natural state and just feeling all the energy that you've cultivated through that breath work. And take that calm, focused energy with you into whatever you have going today. I do hope that you enjoyed that. A little breathing flow, that pranayama, hopefully you found some value in it, some things that you can take with you um, kind of at any time during the day. You can use kind of any of those breaths uh, whenever you need them. So hopefully you learned something from that. Definitely want to see you on the mat again. So make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. You'll get notifications when the new videos go up. And I have exclusive content for you on the Elite Nerdy Yogi email list. Link is for you below. So make sure you're signed up there as well. Namaste.